proportion continued proportion and unitary method proportion if two ratios are equal we say that they are in proportion for example in figure 1 shown on the screen two out of the three circles are shaded and in figure 2 four out of the six circles are shaded although figure 2 has more circles the ratio of shaded circles to total circles is the same that is 2 divided by 3 is equal to 4 divided by 6 a statement such as this one the ratio is equal to another is called a proportion two ratios namely p is to q is equal to a is to b are said to be equal if p into b is equal to q into a for example 2 is to 3 is equal to 6 is to 9 because 2 into 9 is equal to 3 into 6 is equal to 18 four numbers a b c d are said to be in proportion of a is to b is equal to c is to d we write this as a is to b in proportion to c is to d the double colon shows that they are proportional here a b c d are respectively called as the first second third and fourth terms of the proportion the first and the fourth terms are called the extreme terms or extremes the second and the third terms are called the middle terms or means it is very easy to verify whether the ratios are in proportion by the formula product of the extremes is equal to product of the means thus a b c d are in proportion only if a into d is equal to c into b if ad is not equal to cb then a b c d are not in proportion you can write mathematical proportions in two ways you can compare the numbers with colons that is a is to b or you can write the proportion in the form of equivalent fractions for example how many black animals to brown animals are there in this image there are 3 black animals compared to 6 brown animals you can see this proportion written with a colon and as an equivalent fraction on the screen when the fraction is simplified the equivalent fraction tells us that for every 2 brown animals there is one black animal only equivalent fractions are proportional example 1 check if the following ratio are proportional 4 is to 20 and 36 is to 180 method 1 by simplifying 4 is to 20 gives 2 is to 10 dividing by 2 36 is to 180 gives 2 is to 10 dividing by 18 so the given ratios are proportional method 2 4 into 180 equal to 20 into 36 720 is equal to 720 hence the ratios are proportional example 2 if we divide 20 between jacob and annie in the ratio 3 is to 2 how much will each of them get solution sum of the two terms of the ratio 3 is to 2 is equal to 3 plus 2 is equal to 5 jacob's share is equal to 3 divided by 5 into 20 is equal to 12 annie's share is equal to 2 divided by 5 into 20 is equal to 8 example 3 if 40 A, A, forty are in proportion. Then find the value of A. We know that product of means 
is equal to product of extremes. A into A is equal to 40 into 40. A squared is equal to 1600. Therefore, A is equal to 40. Proportions are used in real life in the following situations. In weather forecasts. In weather forecasts. In an hour, it rained 30 mm. So, in 4 hours, it may rain 120 mm. In bakery, it is used to estimate the time of baking. In exchange of foreign currencies. Continued proportion. Three quantities are said to be in continued proportion. If the ratio between the first and the second is equal to the ratio between the second and the third. Suppose if we have three numbers such that the ratio of first to second is equal to the ratio of second to third. We say that the three numbers are in continued proportion. The middle term is called the mean proportional between the first and the third terms. That is, A, B and C are in continued proportion if A is to B is equal to B is to C. For example, let us consider the numbers 6, 12, 24. Here the ratio of first quantity to the second is equal to 6 is to 12 is equal to 1 is to 2 and the ratio of second quantity to the third is equal to 12 is to 24 is equal to 1 is to 2. We see that 6 is to 12 is equal to 12 is to 24. Thus 6, 12, 24 are in continued proportion. Continued proportion is also called as mean proportion. Let's see one more example. Example 1. Find the number between 4 and 9 if all three numbers are in continued proportion. Solution. Let the mean proportion be x. Therefore, 4 is to x is equal to x is to 9 is equal to x into x is equal to 4 into 9. x to the power 2 is equal to 36. x to the power 2 is equal to 6 to the power 2. x is equal to 6. Example 2. If 40, a, a, 40 are in proportion, then find the value of a. We know that Product of means is equal to product of extremes. A into A is equal to 40 into 40. A squared is equal to 1600. Therefore, A is equal to 40. Unitary method. In unitary method, we will learn how to find the value of one unit from the value of multiple units. We can also find the value of multiple units from the value of one unit. When we go to the market to buy an article, we ask the shopkeeper to tell the price of one article. This is called unit price. We calculate the price of number of articles we want to buy with the help of this unit price. Sometimes we calculate the price of one article if the price of a multiple articles is given. The method to calculate the price of the required articles is called unitary method. Generally, first we find the value of one article from the value of multiple. Then we find the value of the desired number of articles from the value of one. Remember two rules. To get more, we multiply to get less, we divide. Let us understand this method with some examples. Example 1. Cost of 5 pens is Rs. 125. What is the cost of 1 pen? Cost of 5 pens is equal to Rs. 125. 
कॉस्ट ऑफ वन पेन इज इक्वल टू रुपीज वन ट्वेंटी फाइव डिवाइडेड बाय फाइव इज इक्वल टू रुपीज ट्वेंटी फाइव एग्जाम्पल टू द कॉस्ट ऑफ ट्वेल्व बुक्स इज रुपीज एट थाउजेंड फोर हंड्रेड एंड फोर्टी एट कैलकुलेट द कॉस्ट ऑफ सिक्सटीन सच बुक्स सोल्यूशन दिस इज अ सिचुएशन ऑफ डायरेक्ट वेरिएशन दैट इज मोर बुक्स मोर कॉस्ट कॉस्ट ऑफ ट्वेल्व बुक्स इज इक्वल टू रुपीज एट थाउजेंड फोर हंड्रेड एंड फोर्टी एट कॉस्ट ऑफ वन बुक इज इक्वल टू रुपीज एट थाउजेंड फोर हंड्रेड एंड फोर्टी एट डिवाइडेड बाय ट्वेल्व इज इक्वल टू रुपीज सेवन हंड्रेड एंड फोर देर फोर कॉस्ट ऑफ सिक्सटीन बुक्स इज इक्वल टू रुपीज सेवन हंड्रेड एंड फोर इंटू सिक्सटीन इज इक्वल टू रुपीज इलेवन थाउजेंड टू हंड्रेड एंड सिक्सटी फोर इफ टू रेशियोज आर इक्वल वी से दैट दे आर इन प्रपोर्शन Only equivalent fractions are proportional. Three quantities are said to be in continued proportion if the ratio between the first and the second is equal to the ratio between the second and the third. In unitary method, we will learn how to find the value of one unit from the value of multiple units. We can also find the value of multiple units from the value. of one unit